What's happening guys, it's Stuart here from SD Roberts Plastering and Wall Insulation. This week we're in Evesham, we're insulating two very cold bedrooms and we're using the 50mm PIR insulation panels. In this video I want to talk to you about the various insulation materials that are used when installing internal wall insulation and hopefully answer some commonly asked questions that we get. One being, why do we use PIR insulation board. Why not use the um, polystyrene backed insulation or the XPS or the fiberglass mineral wool and some of the other materials that are on the market. So let's talk about these different materials briefly and let's touch on U values and R values. Okay so U values you may have heard of um, U values before. This is a way of measuring heat flow um, through a material so the rate of heat flow through any given material and we want that number to be low when we're talking u values and of course we're measuring the rate in other words the speed in which that heat passes through any given material so of course the slower the better the lower the better when it comes to r values however the R value stands for thermal resistance, and that's what I'm going to be talking to you uh, about today in this video. So I'm sharing on, on the screen an image with you guys. There's four images, and on the left-hand side, we've got um, a chart which measures R value in different insulation materials. Um, so back to the question, why not just use polystyrene back to plasterboard or XPS board? Well, in fact, we do use... XPS plasterboard and also thermaline board which is polystyrene back plasterboard. These two materials are actually pretty decent when it comes to um, thermal resistance. So there you can see there they've got a rating of 4 which is um, higher than the fiberglass bat and the mineral wool. However there's no VCL. Now a VCL is a vapour control layer that's uh, necessary when installing internal wall insulation systems so the PIR material not only is it sort of leading the way with thermal resistance you can see here that they've rated it actually 7.2 um, now they've not called it PIR on this chart guys it's got a, a really long name the actual name the real name for it is polyiso cyanurate now I've probably pronounce that completely wrong it's a bit of a gobful um, but PIR is what people know it as PIR foil insulation and again in this chart you can see that fiberglass has a, a thermal resistance of around 3.14 and as we move down this list you can see various dis different insulation materials the expanded polystyrene um, has a rating of 4 the extruded polystyrene, which is a bit more dense and closed cell, has a rating of 5 on the thermal resistance. And you can see in the image here, we've got a polyurethane uh, spray foam, which is uh, 6.25 on the thermal resistance. Now that's an important point, and uh, the reason I wanted to show this image with you is because polyurethane is the material that we use when we're bonding your PIR insulated panels to your cold nine inch solid walls. And we use that to bond and also seal in between the joints. And that's because it's got such a high thermal resistance, it actually adds to the thermal value um, of the wall when it's completely finished. So we've got um, a high thermal resistance on the, on the bonding agents and the sealers, and also very high thermal resistance on the PIR insulation. So what is the thermal resistance of a solid nine inch wall with no insulation. So that'll be around 0 0.18, which is extremely poor, which is why these walls are so cold. They basically suck heat um, straight through at around 35 or even 40%. So by installing a 50 millimeter PIR insulation, for example, which has a thermal resistance of around 2.3 or 2.4, that's essentially increasing the thermal resistance of your 9 inch solid wall by 10. So 10 times the thermal resistance guys by adding a, a layer of 50 millimeter uh, PIR insulation which is why it's um, the go to material uh, when insulating these cold homes. Now there are um, other products that are very very um, high in thermal resistance 
Um, so we've got Philonic insulation. You can you can purchase Philonic backed uh, plasterboard products. Again, really really good um, thermal resistance. There's also the Aerogel products as well, guys. So I hope this information in this video today has been helpful. Um, remember, if you do live in the Warwickshire area and you'd like a no obligation quotation on insulating your cold home, be sure to hit the link below. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.